Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And we are deeply into Volvember. So Volvember is basically where we talk about vaginal health um, throughout the whole month of November. Um, so again, I am trying my best to keep these videos extremely clean um, because I want you to be able to pass the information along without people getting offended, okay? All right, so we're going to get started. I did a video a few years ago about the yogurt dish, okay? So let me just say this. Doctors do not recommend dushing. We know that, but what doctors don't recommend is the traditional mixture that most of our grandmothers used to use, which is vinegar and water, okay? Sometimes as women, we feel like we need to just be freshened up. Sometimes we start to experience a lot of cases of BV. Um, we experience um, just all types of different changes that goes on with our vagina. One of the things that I always recommend to women is the yogurt dish. And the reason I recommend the yogurt dish is because yogurt is a probiotic, okay? We have two different things. We have prebiotics and we have probiotics, which both are excellent for us as women. So yogurt is a probiotic and a, a probiotic is a good bacteria that we're adding to our vagina. Yes, our vagina... It, it creates its own bacteria, okay? But if you're noticing that you are experiencing a reoccurring case of BV, it's because your vagina is not producing enough good bacteria to balance out the bad bacteria that's being introduced to it. For example, if you have multiple sex partners and you're on birth control and you're not making anybody wear condoms because you're not in fear of getting a baby, it does not mean that these people that you are being intimate with don't come with their own bacteria, okay? So you intimate with him, he ejaculates in you. No, he does not have an STD. No, he does not have an STI. However, he contains his own bacteria. His bacteria gets with your bacteria. Unfortunately, your bacteria cannot overpower his bacteria. So now you at the doctor and you saying what is wrong and they're saying, sweetheart, you have BV, bacteria vaginosis. Okay, when you see that this keeps happening, it's because your body is not producing enough good bacteria. Now, we can do a prebiotic, which is, and I always like to have my notes with me a prebacteria is um, specialized plant fibers. This is pills that we could take, we could get it through food. We could get prebiotics through all types of sources, okay? But that is a prebiotic, all right? What I'm talking about today is a probiotic. Now, the difference is a probiotic is a live organism because this yogurt is bacteria, right? And basically what it is, is like putting fertilizer which uh, causes things to grow, right, into your vagina. So the yogurt is going to opt as a fertilizer, right, which makes the good bacteria that's in your vagina, it makes it grow. It makes it multiply. Because this is living, what's in your vagina is living, and when it all gets together, it just multiplies more good bacteria. Why are your doctors not telling you this? That's a good question. But we all know that even though doctors are put in place to heal us and to cure us, they are in business to make money as well. And every time you have to come back, every time they get paid. I love medical professionals, but at the same time, we have to call a spade a spade, okay? So if you want to make your own yogurt dish, we do sell the bottles, the empty dish bottles here at the store. Now, we have the bigger nozzle, which is for vaginal dishing, and we have the smaller nozzle, which is for anal dishing, or if you're dealing with someone who's never been penetrated for sex before, okay? So we're gonna take our warm water, and what we're gonna do is use Greek non-fat plain yogurt. I stress Greek non-fat plain yogurt. And we're gonna take it, and we're gonna mix it up in our warm water. 
And all this is doing is adding a good bacteria to your vagina. This is not going to hurt you, harm you. This is not going to mess nothing up. This is not going to create yeast. This is not going to do any of that. Because if you listen to your grandmother and your grandmother ever had a conversation with you, your grandmother, she was like, mine made us eat yogurt. As girls, she made us eat yogurt. She was like, you need to be eating yogurt at least once a week. She never explained to us why we need to be eating yogurt once a week. She just said, eat your yogurt once a week. But eating yogurt at least once a week adds good bacteria to your body. It's good for our vaginal health. It builds the vaginal walls. Yogurt is good for you. It is your friend. So yes, you can eat your yogurt. And I, I got this one because I love your place, strawberry yogurt. But when it comes down to vaginal gushing, we do not want to use none of the fruity type of yogurts. We want to use plain yogurt. And as you can see, I'm mixing and it's going to be a milky type of consistency. And we want to just mix it until it's all just dissolved and it looks like milk. That's what it's going to look like, okay? Now, this is going to be enough for us to be able to, to do two dishes. And when I'm saying two dishes, meaning that you're going to be able to go in, utilize it all, and actually refill it again, okay? So, we just want to take and we want to pour until we fill it up. And again, the larger one is for vaginal, the smaller one is for virgins and anal. And see, we have half of it left over. All we're going to do is top it up. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. This is Volvember for those of y'all who are just logging in. So this is Vaginal Health Month. So we're going to be talking about all things pertaining to vaginal health. All right. So we have enough to be able to use. Then we have enough to be able to go again. And then what we want to do is go over it the last time with just water. So that means you're going to be dishing three times. You're going to go the first time with yogurt, the second time with yogurt, the last time with water. I had so many women, because I did this video the last time when COVID first hit. I had so many women that inboxed me and said, oh my God, Miss Sharonda, you are a lifesaver. I have not felt this fresh in so long because I completely stopped dishing altogether because my doctor said not to. But at the same time, as a woman, I like to have that fresh feeling. People say, how often do you do this? Me personally, I'm only speaking for me. Me personally, I do this after my cycle and then I do it again in about two weeks. So I do this like maybe twice a month. This is what I choose to do for my vaginal health, okay? I am a very sexually active woman. I, my husband and I, we do not use protection. Um, I cannot have children anymore. So that means that, yes, he is free to come at me as many times as he would like. But I am wise enough to know, even though I love my husband and we are one, his bacteria is different than my bacteria. His nutrition is different than my nutrition. And I have to do the things that I know to do for my own vaginal health. Okay? So I take a prebiotic, which I get from Amazon. I'm, I'm going to put the link on there. I take a prebiotic. I started my daughters to taking prebiotics, okay? I do the yoga dush. They don't do it because they're not even sexually active. Um, but again, as a woman, if you want that more fresh feeling or you want to be just more secure, um, this is what I recommend, okay? I know doctors say, oh, no, you don't need to do nothing. And I get that. But if you keep getting BV over and over again... You need to do something because you see that you keep going back to the doctor and everything they're giving you is just treating the symptoms, but they're not telling you how to grow the good bacteria in your vagina to overpower the bad bacteria that's entering into your vagina. Okay. So this is going to conclude my video for today. I am here at the store working today. Sierra's prayer is trending and it is a beautiful prayer y'all, but let me just say this. Okay. Because I saw so many women that were saying, oh, this is what I want. I want me a Russell. I want this here and I want that there. And there's nothing wrong with wanting what you want. There's nothing wrong with asking God for the best. There's nothing wrong with that. But let me just tell you something. Before you align yourself 
to be faithful to a man, I need you to align yourself first to be faithful to a higher power, whatever it is that you believe in. Because I believe in my God and my Jesus, and I know a lot of y'all today is believing in the ancestors and all of the people and, and, and so on and so forth. So I don't like to, in other words, I don't judge you for what you believe in, but I just want you to understand before you can be faithful to a man and give a man, you got to first be faithful to whatever your higher power is. You got to be first be faithful to yourself and be disciplined with yourself. So that prayer to Sierra prayed is an awesome prayer. But what Sierra also did was did a lot of work within herself. And when I'm talking about wife school and submission and reverence and all of this stuff, I, I hear a lot of pushback saying, why would I do this? But my thing is, why would you not? Because if God blesses you with a man that is great as Russell is, right? And he blesses you with that, why would you not take care of it? Why would you not prioritize it? Because in the wife group yesterday, when I was talking about why is black women, are we not taught to prioritize our husbands? Some of the answers were things that I've heard before. You know why? Because he human just like me. Huh, he better prioritize me. Huh, I work just like he do. I don't need no man. My children come before a man because one thing that I know is my children are going to always be there even when a man don't be there. Those type of mentalities, you're not going to get a Russell. You, you may get something, but it won't be a Russell. Because see, Russell is a God-fearing man. He, he's a man that is faithful, meaning that he, 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 he loves God from his heart. And when you want a man like Russell, one that loves God from his heart, that, that type of man going to want a, a woman that's going to love God from her, her heart. And God orders wives to submit to their husband. God ain't never told a husband to tell your wife to submit. The Bible was not written like that. God talks directly to the wives and he said, wives, submit to your husband. And submission is something that is done willingly. It is something that is done from the heart. It is not something that is forced upon any of us. So before we can get to saying that we want a man like Sierra and we reposting this, this uh, Sierra prayer and, and putting out into the atmosphere and the universe what it is that we want, I want you to start doing some work on yourself. I want you to do that. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. And I need to take this phone call. It's very important.